Hello, my name is Alex Sir with Thaddeus Stevens College to talk to you about subprogramming. Um, why do we use subprograms or subroutines, which are synonymous, by the way? Um, I get that question all the time. Students will say, why do I have to do this? This seems like a waste of time. I've got to do all this confusing back and forth stuff or load a whole extra program. But once you get used to subprogramming, it is going to make things a lot easier for you rather than having to copy paste, rather than having to retype code that was redundant, you're going to be able to just utilize a block that you make and a chunk of code that you've made and you're going to be able to access it over and over again throughout your program. Um, it also opens the doors for uh, batches of parts. So you have families of parts where some have holes and some don't have a series of holes. Well, with using block delete at the command exit for that subroutine, we're going to be able to shut off that set of holes. And within with just the push of a button, when we start up our program, we're going we're flipping back and forth between two different parts that are the same part, rather than having to type two entirely different programs. So it's pretty awesome. Um, there are two types of programs. There's an M97 and an M98. The M97 is an internal subroutine. Uh, they transfer the program cursor to a specified end block. And how is it going to know where to go? Well, in that M97 line, we're going to call up a p-value. And that p-value has to match the block numbers corresponding to the top of our internal subprogram. Um, how does it know how to return? Well, it's going to use an M99 at the bottom of that series of code to take us back to where we left our original program. The M98 is very, very similar, except instead of working all within the same program, we're actually going to use a completely external program that's also loaded into the control. Uh, so they both have to be in program memory, and, but our p-value is going to uh, specify an O number that's going to be the, at the top of our other program. I'm going to do an example of both right now. So here's our percent sign, our O number, and this is all one code, by the way. It's just over to the side because I couldn't fit it all on one, one line or in one column. But we're going to have our typical program startup. And I could have a whole bunch of different things occurring here. Say I had other tools, it doesn't matter. Um, I just wanted to show the subprogram portion. So here we're getting all set up. We're going to um, we're going to do one depth. We're going to wrap it to a depth of fifty thousand. So that's going to be my first depth, uh, and we're going to call at nine forty-five here. We're going to go to an M97 P225. Um, so we're going to jump over to this block number. And now we're going to turn on our cutter compensation. We're going to go around a box that has eighth inch radius corners on it. And then we're going to go back over to our next depth. And it's going to go down again. And then we're going to then our next line at N55, we're going to come back over to this 225. We're going to come, we're going to cut that box with corners again. We're going to come back with our M99. We're going to go to a depth of 150 thousands. We're going to come back over here. We're going to go to the M99. And we're going to come out here to our lead out finally. So we're going notice how we led out of our program over here not here a lot of times people lead out of their program or lead out at the bottom of this because that's where we would naturally do it but if you do that you're turning off your cutter comp and it's it's going to get kind of funny so um the other big issue is a lot of times i have students that will put their sub program be above the M30 and the program never ends because it can't really get to the program rewind end. The other issue 
that I've seen quite frequently is where we put our percent sign above our subprogram because we're so used to putting it right below the M30 and then the control doesn't ever load our subroutine. So there's a few little pitfalls to watch out for there, but I think this will give you the general gist of how an M97 works. The M98, I actually use the same exact example so that you can see it's the same thing. People tend to get really uh, stuck on uh, how to use either one, and that's why I intentionally use the same example here. So you see how we come down to the M98, instead of a p-value that's specifying the n number, you notice how these both have their own individual O numbers. I forgot a percent sign above this one, but um, I typically am going to set up my my uh, my program and my subprogram with uh, corresponding codes like see how this is 1332 and then this is 1333 so then I remember it's easier to find them and like control it right below each other um, so here we're gonna do an M45 M98 is going to kick us to a O value of one or P is going to kick us to 1333 so that's gonna actually exit that program you're gonna see this program pop up in like a separate box and we're going to turn on our cutter comp. We're going to go around with our radius, with our eighth inch radiuses. Then we're going to come back over here to, and we're going to do a Z depth move to hundred thousands. We're going to come through our program again, down to the M99. We're going to uh, come back here, go to 150 thousands. We're going to run through our sub program again. And then we're going to uh, come back out and we're going to do our lead out and then our program would end. So you see how the, that's how our program would work. We could obviously have whatever we wanted after this with multiple tools. Uh, we could have like several other sub programs within that, but uh, I hope you can see how much this is going to reduce having to rewrite some code that is redundant. Uh, it's very handy with hole drilling as well and being creative with uh, using incremental programming can be very interesting as well. So I encourage you to explore that and uh, try it out. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.